You can win this beautiful car with just one answer on Car Chart. And if you play your cards right, you can win $32,000. And now, the host of Car Chart, Bob Eubank. Thank you, Gene Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Card Talk. We're going to have a fun time today because we have some interesting people on our show. Right now, I want you to meet two of the loveliest ladies in all of television. There are dealers on Card Talk. There they come. Lacey Pemberton and Susanna Williams. Aren't they pretty? Hey, hey, hey. Sudden death again today, guys. Oh, right. That's where we'll start. Okay. We'll deal out those cards. We'll get our Card Sharks in here. Come on, Mark and Francis. Here we go. Mark, how are you? Good. Good, hanging in there, Mark. Hanging in there. If you were not with us yesterday, Mark was playing for the big money, and he had a king, and he bet it all, and an ace jumped up and bit him. It's all right. You still have $1,300. I know. So you're doing that's great. Fine. That's great. And that's I'm a newlywed, so that's going to come in handy. Newlywed guy. Yeah, okay. the newest thing since I'm married, though, is now that I'm married, my wife and I collect pigs. Never did that before. Pardon me? We collect pigs. I know a guy used to do that. Yeah. Uh, live ones? No, not yet. We're working on it. You, you want a live pig? Uh, my wife does. Yeah, we had, we like had live pigs on our show here one time. Yeah. It was really interesting, those little guys. Frances, how are you today? Oh, I'm wonderful and excited. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I'm Frances Laverto. Uh, I'm still a professional mother and wife. I have three children and a delicious granddaughter. Well, all right. I got one of those, too. Yeah. <laughs> delicious little granddaughter, Tyler Ann. Okay, let's get it started. We're going to start with sudden death, which means it's the fourth and final question of the game. Someone has to win the game on the next play of the cards, and control is really what you're looking for. And the question is going to go to Francis, and this question involves 10 men in our studio audience who are top guns with the United States Navy. And I want you to take a look at this, okay? Because this is an F-14 Tomcat, whose top speed is over 1,400 miles per hour. It's approaching the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz, and the pilot will have to land that plane on only 400 feet of runway on a pitching, rolling flight deck, coming to a stop in less than two seconds. And the men responsible for flying those jets are graduates of the Navy Fighter Weapons School, better known as Top Guns, and we've got 10 Top Guns with us. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome back. Nice to have you here. Francis, here's the question. Before the show, we ask our 10 Top Guns, have you ever had to bail out of your jet when it was in trouble? How many of these 10 Top Guns have had to bail out of their jet? Oh, I would imagine that's quite high. Um, I would say probably about nine of them. Nine of the ten you think have had to bail out. Mark, what do you say? Well, I'm sure it's happened, Bob, but I'm going to go just a little bit lower than Might that. Might be lower than that. Boy, the actual number of these top guns who have had to bail out of their jet is only one. Only one. Yeah, I'm surprised at that. I really am. No kidding. Who had to bail out? Raise your hand. Slammo. Is that how you got your name when you bailed out? Well, uh, that's part of it. I see. <laughs> they say that's how, what the uh, sound of the airplane made when it hit the water, but... Salamo. Uh, <laughs> actually, how it happened was the supersonic flight at about 30,000 feet and the uh, flight control computer malfunction. The airplane departed control flight, uncommanded, uh, violent departure, and I uh, tried for 20,000... Whoa, whoa, excuse me just a second. <laughs> Would you Stop translate flying. all of what you said to me? Uh, <laughs> uh, a violent departure. So it uh, went into uncontrolled flight. In other words, I wanted it to do this, and it did. Now that. I understand that. Good. Okay. <laughs> now you're talking so my I language. So I tried for 20,000 feet to uh, get the airplane back under control, was unable to, and uh, ejected at 10,000 feet. That's quite a jar, isn't it, when you eject? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes, Bob. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't want him to call me sir because it means I'm old. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for sharing your stories, and thanks for being with us again today. Okay, let's play sudden death. All right. Now, Mark, you have the control. A couple of choices here, my friend. You can play it yeah. by yourself. And if you goof, Francis wins the game, okay. or you can pass on to Francis with a nine. If she goofs, you win the game. Um, no offense to my own look, but I'm going to pass it. Yeah, you, <laughs> you've been on that three for four days. Three, <laughs> three, <laughs> three, 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 three. Okay, Francis, I've been up on to that you, kiddo. Nine. Okay, I'm going to go uh, higher. Higher than the nine, it is. <laughs> uh, lower. If it's lower, you win the game. No! <laughs> and that means that Mark wins game number one. <laughs> We'll be back to set up our game number two right after this. Don't go away. This week in game show history, new Password Plus host Tom Kennedy competes on Wheel of Fortune. 
Hollywood Squares puts host Peter Marshall in the center square, and millionaire-themed Slumdog Millionaire hits theaters, not featuring host Regis Philbin. Card talks. We're ready now for game number two. Susanna's dealing out cards from the same deck, and let's get it going. Mark, you won the first game. Francis, pressure's on you, my dear. So, Mark, here's a question for All you. Right. We surveyed 100 women, and we asked them, did your very first romantic kiss take place in a car? <laughs> how many women said it did? I guess it would depend on how old you are. The first kiss I ever gave a woman, which I'm sure to her was her most romantic kiss, was, was definitely in a car. Um, but, but my wife... Well, my you think it was her first romantic kiss? Well, it was my wife. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but I think that's unusual. So, I mean, not unusual. I mean, okay, so the number, I'm sorry, <laughs> the number, the, the amount of women that did that, I think, is a uh, pretty high number. I'm going to go for 63. Of 63 them. out of 100 women said their first romantic <laughs> kiss took place in a car. Yeah, that's what, what you're I telling mean. me. Yes. Francis? Uh, 63. I think mine was on the back steps, <laughs> my first kiss, and it was very romantic. Of a car? No, back steps of my house. Oh. I got caught by my dad, too. <laughs> <laughs> he grounded me. Uh, I was only about 13. <laughs> so, so you got uh, your first romantic kiss when you were 13? Uh-huh. Well, and sure, Mark's that's... wife was 22? <laughs> <laughs> that was technical. I have more experience to say. Obviously. Uh, so I think that's going to be a little lower. A little lower than that. The actual number of women whose first romantic kiss took place in a car is 34. You bet it was lower. All right. How about you, kid? Yeah, I don't remember. Was it in a car? First romantic I think kiss? So. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, I was at a party for me in the sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet she loved it, huh, Bob? No, I hated it. <laughs> she wanted to do it again, you know? Oh, Bob. <laughs> Francis, you ready? Yes. Okay, there's a nine for you. Uh, change that card. Change that card, yes. Definitely. Nine is now a deuce. Oh, higher! Higher than the deuce, you're eight. Uh, freeze. Freeze? Yes. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Freeze on the eight. Poor old Mark doesn't get to play the cards. Oh. I'm chicken. <laughs> yeah. Francis. Yes. Surveyed 100 married men who are British aristocrats. These are people such as dukes and barons and earls. We ask them, did you marry a commoner? How many British aristocrats married a commoner? Uh, well, I didn't even know a, an aristocrat. But uh, the movies that I've seen, they, they never marry a commoner because the royal families won't let them. So I would say that was going to be kind of low. Hmm. I would say maybe out of 100, maybe about 30. 30, 30 out of 100. Mark? Well, I don't know how it goes to protocol, but uh, I'm going to go for a little bit higher, in the, a little bit higher than that. It could, ha okay. could happen. How many don't care? <laughs> <I'm just> 
Yeah. The actual number of British aristocrats who married a commoner is... 77 of them! Wow. Yeah! Wow. 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 Amazing wow. that! Wow. Amazing that! Wow. Mark! Wow. Okay, what do we got? Mark, here we go, five. Let's go higher. Come okay, on, higher. The drum roll says higher. Higher, higher than the five. Eight. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'm going to freeze. Get even with it. I'm going to yes, freeze. <laughs> freeze right there. Okay. Have a good game going. We'll be back in just a moment with more card cards right after this. Don't worry. Welcome back to Card Talks. We're ready to continue with this game now. And Mark, the next question goes to you. All righty. It's an educated guess question. Okay. These are my favorites, because I can play along. Okay. What percentage of American marriages last at least 10 years? 10 years of marriage. Let's see. Educated guess, I'll give it what one. What percentage of Americans? Percentage American of Americans. I'll say 45%. 45%. Let's see what Francis says about this. I think that's going to be higher, because it... People stay married longer than you actually realize. Watch, I'll be wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> the actual percentage of American marriages, this is surprising, that last at least 10 years is 70%. Yeah, no, Francis, you're right. Well, I would have never guessed that. Finally. Now, Francis, want to get rid of that card? Change it. Well, we will. The eight will now become a four, Francis. Higher! Higher than a four, queen. Lower! Lower! Oh, no. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> Mark gets a free shot. Free shot at the cards. Let's try higher. Higher than the eight? Yeah. Let's go lower. I'm gonna go lower than that 10? Yes. Higher. 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 Okay, if it's higher, higher, Mark, you're the champ. You'll play for the big money in a new car. Higher, higher than the three? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, Mark, congratulations Whoa, to you. <laughs> Francis, we do have some nice prizes for you. Thank, Thank you. you very much I for being with us. Wonderful I'm time. glad you did. And that. you're a doll. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Come on, Mark. Oh, who the fuck? All right. 
Boy, oh, yeah. time yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can't turn your luck around a little bit and well, win a lot of money this that. time, okay? Last time you played the big money, we won $1,300, which wasn't too bad. Right. But you have a chance to win thousands and thousands of dollars over there. The lady's going to deal out a deck of cards that you cut earlier. Yep. We'll remind everybody you can change one card per line. And we're going to give you some money to bet with. We're going to give you $200 to bet with, okay. so you'll be on your way. Good luck to you, Mark. Thank Here you we go. All right. All right. With that $200... Here's the card, Mark. We have king. a king. Let's go 150 lower. 150 lower than the king. Ah! <laughs> Can you believe? Well, it happened early in the game. I know. Let's still let's build That's off right. of this now. All of it lower. Sure. All, All of it lower, lower than the ace. Now try it again. All of it lower. Now All you know that lower. the ace of spades is not going to get right. you again. That's right. All of it lower. All of it lower than the king. Boom. Three. Two hundred dollars. I'm going to give you four. You got six hundred. Right, you got three. I'm going to go 550 higher. 550 higher than the three. There you are. Let's change that card. Let's number yeah. two. Yeah. Number two. Which one? See what Mason's got for you. What eight got? now becomes got? a jack. You got 11. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to go uh, eight, 750 lower. 750 lower than the jack. There yeah. you are. $1,900, Mark. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'll go 50 bucks. Uh, Lower. $50, $50 lower, lower than the eight. Juice. Oh, How about oh, that? Oh, hey. oh, all right. Hey. Oh, a bit higher. Thanks for looking up. He's bet it all higher than the juice yeah. anyway. Yeah. 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 That was better. $3,900. Better than what you have. Woo. You've now got $5,400 in cash. Yes. And now, we're going to give you a chance to win that new car again. Okay. All right, All right. so you know how we're going to do this, don't you? Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, he has a chance of winning a very beautiful car, and Gene's going to tell him which car it is right now. Do you know? The Buick Skyhawk Coupe, the sports car with room and comfort, equipped with standard features plus pinstripes and California emissions. Good luck, Mark. Okay, Mark. Well, what's going to happen here is I'm going to ask you one question about our 10 Top Gun pilots down there. And after I ask you that question, I'll ask you to go over there and register your answer on the range board. Okay. So, Lace, if you have a question for me, thanks, son. Here's a question. Before the show, we ask these 10 Top Gun pilots, do you carry a good luck charm with you? How many of these 10 Top Guns do carry a good luck charm? Now, place the marker on your answer, okay. if you would, please. That's, that's... How many carry a good luck charm? <laughs> what do you think, Mark? I'm going to seven. All right, seven, you're going to go seven. with a seven. Lucky seven. Lucky charm. Lucky seven. I think there's seven superstitious guys so. down there. Well, I think so. Okay. Oh, if you're on the nose, you're going to win the car. If you miss it by one, if the answer is six or eight, you win another $500. Okay. Let's find out. The actual number of these top guns who carry a good luck charm is two of them. Oh, oh, two only of two of them. Only two. So you don't win the car. You don't win any more money, but you do have $5,400. You're our champ. We'll meet a new challenger right after this. Look at that. Play truth for the real Leonard Wolf. Please stand up. And consequences. <laughs> to tell the truth and the newlywed game. Coming up next.
Welcome back to Card Sorry. Hey, Mark. Hey. Looking good. Yeah, Time thanks. to meet a new challenger. Right. Kathy, would you please join us on our show? Hi, Kathy. Hi, Hi pretty lady. Hi, Bob. <laughs> My name is Kathy Kataro. I live in Redonda Beach, California. I'm originally from Pekin, Illinois. I'm a housewife and a mother of a seven-month-old beautiful little girl, and I'm just thrilled to be here. Well, it's <laughs> thrilling to have you here, Thank too. you. What's your last name again? Kakaro. Kakaro. Kathy right. Kakaro. Mm -hmm. All right. Kind of flows, doesn't it? Sure. What were you before you were a Kakaro? I was a Knabel. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Knabel Kakaro. Right. right. <laughs> Kathy Knabel Kakaro. I like it. I like Thank it. You. It could be a top ten song, I'm sure. <laughs> You win two games, you're the champ. All right, let's get it going. Mark, the question is yours, right. and we surveyed 100 top business executives who are married. We asked them, if your wife demanded that you fire your secretary because she was just too sexy, would you do it? <laughs> How many executives would fire their secretary? I think there's going to be quite a lot of them to do that. Uh, my I'm not an executive yet, but my wife would definitely be behind me checking out the secretary. She would be at the interview. So if they'll take it that far, I'm going to go for a high number. I'm going to say... 63. 63 out of 100 executives would fire their secretary. Kathy, what do you think about it? Um, I think my husband's very independent. I think he would be very um, open-minded of just doing whatever he wanted to do, and I don't think that he would fire his secretary. If she was a really good secretary and she did the job well, I don't think he would fire her if I said fire her or not. So I think it's going to be a little bit lower than that. you got a lot of pull with that guy, don't you? I know. Yeah. Actual number of married executives who would fire their secretary if their wife demanded it is... Only six of them. You're right. It was a wow. lot lower. Yeah, only six. Okay. Kathy, for you, we have an eight, but you can change Change that yeah, card, Bob. Susanna's got a new one for you, which happens to be a queen. Lower, Bob. Lower than the queen. Four. Higher, Bob. Higher than the four. Eight. Three. 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 Right there. The lady knows how to play the game. Okay. Go on to our next question. <laughs> Kathy, this question involves our ten men who are top guns in our studio audience. Gentlemen, once again, I can't tell you how happy we are to have you with us all week long. You've done a wonderful job. And how proud we are as American citizens to have you out there, too. Thank you. Good day. Kathy, before the show, we ask our ten top guns, have you ever been in a dogfight with a Soviet plane? How many of these ten top guns have been in a dogfight with a Soviet plane? Well, I watched Top Gun, and I know that it was very rare in the movie, so I don't think that it's probably going to be that likely. Um, in real life. So I'm going to say it's a pretty low number, probably about one. About one? Yep. All right. About Mark? one. Well, that's yeah. tough, because I don't think it's very many either. <laughs> so I'm either going zero or higher. Yeah. How about, um, let's try it a little bit higher. A little bit higher? The actual number of these top guns who have been in a dogfight with a Soviet plane is two of them. Yes. Whoa. Two of them. Man. Because of uh, government security reasons, we cannot ask the guys to reveal their answers or raise their hands or anything. But anyway, gentlemen, thank you again. And here we go. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Let's Mark's see. got the control. You ready? See, I'm ready. Mark, you're quick. There's oh, an ace. Ace Low word. Yeah, I don't blame you. Let's go lower. Three. Higher, Bob. Higher than the three, Jack. Lower. Lower. Lower than lower. the jack. Oh. oh. <laughs> he gets oh. so excited and then wham. Oh. Okay. You're in all the wrong order. Kathy, with a free chance, the Ouch. eight is yours. Um, I'm going to go higher. Higher than the eight? No, uh. not higher than the eight. Okay, let's keep going then. Mark yeah. surveyed 100 people and we asked them, is there at least one product in your home with a Mickey Mouse face on it? <laughs> oh, there's an R home. <laughs> How many people said they do have a product with Mickey Mouse's face on it? I think it? between the T-shirts and the watches and all those Mickey Mouse products, there's got to be some. And with kids, I have a commode. Definitely. You have a Mickey Mouse commode? Yeah. Is it usable? <laughs> Don't get personal. Okay? <laughs> okay, and the commodes. Um, I'll say that's a pretty good sized number. Let's try 70 people. 70 out of 100 people said they have a product with Mickey Mouse's face on it. Kathy, higher or lower? Well, I have a little baby girl, and I have a lot of Mickey Mouse things for her. I mean, she absolutely loves it. She's seven months old, and she thinks he is just the greatest um, thing in the world. So I think it might be just a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Yeah. The actual number of people who have a product with Mickey Mouse's face on it is... 50. Oh. Only 50. No. It was high as well. Got that ace, oh, though. Cool. I've got that ace. Let's go. Mark, you ready? Go that ace. Go, go lower. lower. Yeah. Higher than the five. Higher, higher, higher than, than, than the five. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Lower than that ace. Lower than that ace. Got Shut it again. Up. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm going to freeze. You're going to freeze? I'm going to freeze. I have. You think I should go? freeze on the jet. Oh, he is so chicken. <laughs> Never had an audience boo a contestant before. <laughs> 
We'll play Sudden Death when we come back. Don't go away. Back to card touch. Our sweet and lovely Lacey is going to have a baby real soon, and so this is going to be her last show for a little yeah. while. But then after the baby's born, and she's going to come back and be one of our dealers on oh, card sharks again. Oh. It's not awful. It's oh. wonderful. We love you very much, and everybody out there talks to us all the time about you, and we wish you all the luck and oh, and hope you have triplets and. All oh. <laughs> yeah. Also, may I say that. That we have a, a cameraman on our show by the name of Gorman yeah. Erickson, who is retiring after 35 years. Gorman, would you come up here? Gorman, unhook and come on up here, will you, pal? We have very special people who work on this show. And Gorman, after 35 years, is retiring from CBS. And he's just one of the nicest, most delightful men you'll ever meet. And we wish you all the luck in the world, old buddy. Thank you. All the time we have, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Lacey and we'll be back. Gorman, he's just going to retire and play golf. And we'll all be back, and we hope you'll be too. So until next time, I'm Bob Eubank. So long, everybody, from Card Side. Some of our departing contestants will receive what tastes like chocolate but doesn't have sugar. New cocoa mint made with pure imported cocoa. The great chocolate taste from Delamint. And what's behind the secret? Great tasting Italian meals, ragu, spaghetti sauce, that's Italian. Niagara Fabric Chaos Spray Stock for a crisp finish with body sizes for body without stiffness. Niagara for fabric care. This is Richardson's delicious topping. Seven flavors including new light hot fudge, all the fudge you taste with a third less calories. The Regina Housekeeper, the upright vacuum cleaner that cleans from floor to ceiling can reach beyond the limits of ordinary cleaning. A gift certificate for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Feel the warmth and taste the goodness of home. Kentucky Fried Chicken is home. And the member of our studio audience will receive from White Westinghouse, the Westinghouse 1.3 cubic foot capacity microwave oven, offers an automatic temperature probe, electronic touch controls, and 10 power select settings. This is Gene Wood speaking for Card Shark. A Mark Gibson television production. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Moore.